six months in China. Yes, I've been six months and I'm leaving China in actually seven days. It is, I think, uh, I'm leaving China and go back to Canada. Yes, uh, why I will tell you a little bit later. First of all, let's talk about all the bad things that happened to me in China because not everything was great, not everything was awesome. The foreigners say, Hey, it's so easy to find jobs here in uh, China. It's kind of true and kind of true. It's not that really easy. Uh, one of the things is because of the visa policies. So you first of all need to find a company that actually is willing to pay for the visas and goes through whole steps and everything. And the steps, because China protects its own market, its own people and wants first people to find here and then afterwards outside. So for English teacher, it's okay. If you, have an, if you are born in America or England, Australia, Canada, and you have an English teaching degree, oh hell, yeah, definitely if you can find a job here. I'm German, I'm born in Kazakhstan, guess what, I can't, uh, I may, no, no, I can't teach English here, because they will ask, because now it's very difficult, they ask all the informations and they ask, where do you have the degree? I have my university degree in Canada, but as I said, I'm not a native English speaker, I was born in Kazakhstan, they find it out and I'm not, not going to lie. So other jobs, they are there and they are available, but uh, it's more difficult because also I don't have much experience. I'm not an expert in anything, maybe in a little bit in marketing and YouTubing, that's it. Uh, so it's, it's, it can be hard and difficult if you are young to find a job in China. This is true, but there are also jobs here and opportunities, but it's difficult to find them. Here's the thing that was the most difficult thing for me. What happened is, this is personal. Uh, I've been sick for now over two years with my stomach and other things. And when I came to China, I wasn't fully healed. But I thought like, hey, you know what? I met uh, a girl that I really liked and I wanted to meet her and we grew uh, ever closer, which who is now my wife. And everything went well. So I wanted, like, I wanted to see her and I thought, okay, well, you know what? If I go to China, especially like South China, where it's really warm, now it's hot here, uh, that maybe I will change. And my doctor agrees with me and he said, like, Eugene, uh, your problem is not physical, it's mental. I do have a uh, mental disability. Uh, he said, like, yeah, you, you, now you have just too much anxiety and everything. Maybe a vacation outside a few months or something will be doing you very good. Here's the thing. It did psychologically, but my stomach was not ready yet. So I had huge problems. Right now I'm battling uh, kidney stones and I have still stomach issues. Uh, overall, actually, Thanks to Chinese food, I have been able now to eat a lot of uh, meat and other uh, foods and I feel much better, really. Uh, like this, this helped me in this sense. But my stomach issues are still there, kidney stones are still uh, now there. Um, I was with the doctors, I saw, uh, I got um, uh, scans and everything and whatnot. But yeah, kidney stones are still there. And if something happens, I do need then treatment here and maybe an operation. The doctor said like, hey, don't worry, this operation is very easy to do. It's not very invasive and actually it's really cheap here in China. I think it would cost me like about 350, uh, 350 US dollars, maybe $400 uh, with like the hospital stay and that's it. Maybe like, I don't know, like all in with medication and everything for 50 or something and that's it. But I rather have no operation. I, I don't like them. I had I had them enough in my life. I thought actually my YouTube channel would skyrocket and go really up, um, but it didn't. Both of mine in English and in German. I was actually surprised because I thought many people are actually watching videos about China, and I still see like there are many uh, channels, Western channels, especially English channels, about China. And they are growing. So many of them are they're growing, and there are so many YouTubers who lived here. Like I know two and they lived here and their channels are huge, they have millions of followers and they make a huge amount of money because well, each of their videos makes a hundred thousand, uh, like a one million to three million views and I see they do very little, they just use a few videos and then they talk about uh, China in their um, home and they are sitting there like in America so it's like hey, I mean like when if I'm in China I can do a much better job but no, my, my channels didn't grow, now suddenly they actually uh, starting to grow, now my short videos and it started, but yeah, it threw my whole plans away because I thought I would, uh, well, become, <laughs> well, I would make enough money to live here to pay all of my bills because I need to pay my, my food and everything, my, uh, my, my stay here and everything, right? So this didn't happen, so I kind of work, not really work here and uh, going back and then in the future I have to see how I'm going to pay myself. Probably I'm going to work here in China. Now there are more negative things that uh, happened, like 
uh, culture differences, some things that you don't like in China, uh, and I'm addressing them also like in the future more. Uh, but right now, the thing is, it, it's different. Some things you don't like, like squatting in the toilet. It's something you, yeah, I still don't like, but I do. Well, you have no choice. Uh, though many uh, toilets are actually uh, like European style, American, so we can sit on them. So don't worry. And the language I'm learning, I'm studying, okay. But the mindset is a little bit different. Sometimes it can be challenging, like with my wife, when we argue, it's rarely, but we do. And then it's like different mindsets, okay, like different ideas. So that this can happen. And there are overall, like for example, in Shenzhen, it's way more expensive than I thought. You know, when you are here at, oh yeah, China, yeah, everything is cheaper, no, no. Not true. If you go Beijing, Shanghai, and Shenzhen, man, those sitting here, they are actually uh, not cheap. They are, they are kind of expensive. Beautiful. Like, look around me. There's a Shenzhen. It's an amazingly beautiful city, but it is more expensive than I thought. So if you want to live here, you got to work. You got to make money. And we're talking about money similar to uh, in America, in Canada, okay, in England. Otherwise, you can't afford a good life here. Now, let's talk a little bit about good things. Guys, so many good things happen. Of course, I got married, number one. Of course, I have to say this, right? Um, I'm having a great time. Uh, my, my psychology is now better. I'm more stable. I'm happier. I, I used to have still a little bit of, let's say, negative thoughts and a little bit of depression in Canada. But now, that changed quite a lot. Like, I, I'm so much better in my mind. I'm, I'm stronger in my mind. And I'm building myself up really. And uh, the positive thing is also like I find kind of like a job. Uh, it's not an official job because I need first a uh, work visa and everything before I can get actually paid. So now it's not really like a paid job and everything, but I'm working very hard on this. I'm at my work every day, uh, promoting uh, one of the things is the cell phone that I'm holding right now. And if you have more products, you will see me. You can maybe see me actually uh, on TikTok. I'm actually selling now this uh, tank 8849. And uh, future, I will be making money with this, hopefully. Let's see how it works out. But I'm very positive about this. Now, the other positive things, uh, the Chinese people are way better than I thought. Like, I saw so many negative things about Chinese and about China and everything. Guys, it, it's such a um, negative uh, talk and everything. And I mentioned YouTubers uh, in, in America and other countries that are very successful about China. Well, that's because they just uh, taught very bad things about China and for some reason people are loving this people are just watching videos about negative even my videos if they have a negative title they get way more views than any positive very weird no that's because this is the the trend in Western world anything that is bad against China is like oh yeah awesome yeah show us those Chinese this is something I don't like in our like why do we have to be mean to other countries I mean like that's weird for me but here people are much more uh, also nice man I can tell you, people have been so nice to me. And I mean, all around, the family of my wife, the, 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 the people I'm just walking by here and everything. I have never been mocked here. I have never been treated disrespectfully here. Nothing at all. Like, people are kind. It's actually the other way around. They're like, oh, hey, foreigner, hey, how are you? Hey, do you want me to drink something or something? Do you need help? Are you lost or something? And they're like, oh, come in into our shop or something. Really, like uh, on my TikTok, my Chinese TikTok, people are so kind of saying, hey, bring more foreigners in here. We want to have more people in here and seeing uh, China. So I have a very positive experience. So, but then why do I go back to Canada if I have such a great experience? Well, I actually mentioned it before, my kidney stones. And if I don't go, I will use actually lose my Canadian healthcare because I've been out for now five months and the maximum is like five to six months. So if I don't go back, I lose the Canadian healthcare system and my wife wants to visit Canada maybe for a few months, let's see. And if I don't have healthcare during this time, that's bad. So I'm going back and probably just for two months, maybe three months, who knows. But I'm going actually definitely come back to China. And this is the, the whole truth. I'm going back to China because I'm loving it here. The food is, by the way, are one of the most amazing things here, one of the most positive things and the sheer amount of different foods, different kinds of food and yummy food. And the, like you see, uh, you can't probably see it. New buildings are rising. Like look up, these are all under construction, guys. All under construction and they're building, building them up. It, it's, it's up here, everything is growing and they actually need more foreigners. By the way, I said it's difficult to find jobs, but here's the thing, there are not that anymore, so many foreigners over here. Uh, many left, many still are here. But this is a great opportunity for foreigners like me who want to make money here and are willing to work hard. So yeah, I'm having a good time here.